My name is Neeraj Sinha, and I head up business development for the IoT practice at Persistent Systems Inc. We are a business partner of IBM. We, in fact, we're a gold business partner. And last year, we won business partner of the year uh, at World of Watson. Uh, We've been a partner of IBM for about 15 years, and uh, IBM is, is one of our largest uh, alliances. Uh, and my role is to focus on growing IoT business for persistent and, of course, for our alliance with IBM and uh, Watson. Obviously, IoT has been around in different forms for many, many years. It used to be called M2M at some point, and uh, we had an M2M business for many, many years. We have a thriving telco practice where we had been doing M2M. And as uh, kind of uh, uh, all the, the critical mass kind of built up around IoT over the last two years, uh, we also reorganized and positioned ourselves with a separate IoT practice where uh, we focused on some platform alliances like the alliance with uh, IBM Watson. Uh, that really was the tipping point, all the, uh, the, the, the growth in IoT that is predicted in terms of 30 billion devices by 2021. Uh, and that really was the tipping point for us to carve out a separate group that just focuses on IoT business and uh, to put more uh, uh, wood, wood behind that arrow, so to speak. Uh, what we found was that um, over the last two or three years, Persistent realized that they were selling primarily to wa what we call ISVs, or independent software vendors. So our customers were typically an IBM, or a Cisco, or a Yahoo, um, or, or, or a Microsoft, right? And But we realized that in the last three years that every enterprise, whether it was in the business of selling ketchup or it was in the hotel industry, was becoming a software-driven organization. And in order to become a software-driven organization, data, IoT, and analytics were the key part, key um, kind of driving forces that were going to help these enterprises become software driven. And so we shifted our target market from focusing primarily on independent software vendors to any enterprise that wants to transform itself using digital data and IoT. We see this all, this all the time. We are a consulting company that works with ISVs, independent software vendors, as well as enterprises. And what we are finding is that every enterprise in any form of business today is essentially striving to leverage the power of data and analytics to improve their business. Now, the improvement of the business comes in multiple forms. Some of them are focusing on operational efficiency. They're taking an existing operation, they're collecting more data and real-time data about their operations, and they're making very efficient decisions about how to squeeze out uh, cost out of the operation. The second set of customers we see are those who are creating
to take action, but they'll take corrective action themselves because they've become cognitive at some point. That, I think, is coming. Um, there is a, a use case which I recently encountered where someone has built an app uh, on a smartphone where you go into the factory floor and you used to have this very senior technician who would come in, listen to the sound from the machine and tell you this is wrong. And now we have an app where you can put it on the machine, it listens to the, to the grinding from the machine and it predicts that it's one of these two problems. These are the parts you should take when you go down to open it and try and fix it. So that's what I think is the future. We have a methodology in Persistent which we call the flywheel methodology. And it essentially is trying to bring the concepts of Agile for IoT adoption. What we're trying to tell people is that uh, you got to make decisions about which business process to attack first, and, uh, and it will take you a few cycles to get it right, right? And so you got to work with us in um, an agile fashion where with every turn of the flywheel, we will do an incremental, really generate incremental value for you. You take it to the C-suite, you sell it. If it clicks, we scale it for you. If it doesn't, come back to the design board. We'll do another turn of the flywheel in, in a month or two, and you'll get another value proposition, which you then again vet, you run a trial, you get your C-suite to approve it, and once you get the approvals, you scale it. Uh, so you really have to do it that way because this is uh, virgin territory. You, you're not going to be able to analyze something to that and then say, I'm going to do this project for the next two years. You pretty much have to do it in an agile fashion.